So yesterday, um, after I got my unemployment directly deposited because, you know, EDD, depending on where you live, now allows you to do direct deposit. We'll get into that in another audio vid. But I wanted to come on here because today you may have noticed, you know, several little short videos, you know, that I uploaded creating the Lumas, that's L-U-M-A, the Luma AI Dream Machine. Now, just like a lot of AI systems out there, it has different, you know, subscription tiers. You know, uh, the first one, which, you know, obviously a lot of people will be attracted to is the free one. The only difference is you only get 30 uh, generations, as they call it. You know, 30 generates, if you will, to um, utilize. So you got to be you got to be very, um, you got to be very careful about that, you know, and how you use it, because if you get too into it, you can end up wasting them a lot sooner than the month, you know, they're intended for, because basically if you waste them, you know, within a week, maybe a couple of days, you don't get a renewal, you know, the next day, you don't get a renewal the next day or anything like that, no, instead, what you end up getting is a waiting period. That's right. You have to wait to the day that you signed up officially the following month before you get some new uh, material to work with. Now, the same applies for the subscription tiers. And they've got different ones. They really do. Um, of course, as I've mentioned before, the subscription tiers can be very expensive in the long run. The most expensive, of course, being the $499.99 one, which is monthly. You know, the other the other version of that, of course, is yearly, but in total, that puts you in the thousands right off the bat. Like, you'll be paying a thousand something, or two thousand something, I should say, right off the bat. Two thousand something, uh, just a little, I'll put it this way, almost around two thousand five hundred. I'll put it that way, you know, um, right off the bat. And that's the yearly installment. But then again, there's a, another tier as well, which is the second most expensive. And this is the um, $79.99 one, not $77 like I mentioned, but $79. Uh, $79.99 one. And this too, that if you go yearly, would basically put you in, I would say, the 400 if not $500 range. And now, if you have the money and you can afford that, then, hey, more power to you. But then you got the one that I'm trying out right now, which is the $29.99 one, which yearly is $257. Now, if I had the money, you know, like, let's say working a weekly job, you know, and I, what I mean by weekly job, basically a job that pays you weekly. If I had that kind of a job, then I wouldn't have no issue doing the yearly mark or the yearly version, if you will. I wouldn't have a problem with that. But instead, as of right now, I'm just going to $29.99 one. Now, what's interesting about all these uh, subscription tiers, these three subscription tiers, is, of course, the more you pay, the more you get. You know, with the most expensive one that, like I mentioned, the $499 one, uh, you get like, I think over 2,000 generates or something like that. You get like 2,000 generates, you know, eight, basically you get 2,000 opportunities to create uh, material. You get 2,000 opportunities to create materials. And then, of course, with the $79 one, you get, like, I think maybe a 1,000 opportunities or something like that, a little over a 1,000. And then with this one, the one I'm at, you get 120, you get 120 opportunities. Now, what's interesting about this is, as a bonus, they add in the 30 free tiers that you would get if you went with the regular free option. That's right. So instead of getting the 120 or the 2,000 or the 1,000, you know, right off the bat with your subscription, you also get 30 more. So basically what you get 
is let's say with the most expensive one instead of getting like let's say 2500 you get 2530 the same with you know the second most expensive one the 79 the 79 dollar a month one you know instead of getting like let's say you know 1500 you get 1530 and the same here you know instead of getting just 120 you get 150 that's right you get 150 but the thing is though the thing is though you only get you know each of those subscription or each of those tier uh, generates AI generations if you will you only get them uh, mainly um, you know mainly on the days that you register like if you decide hey I'm going to subscribe right off the bat then you get the let's say let's say you go with the one I did the $29.99 the $29.99 one let's say you go there you get not only the 120, but you get the 30 edition. So you get 150 right off the bat, and that renews that way every month with your subscription. But if you do what I did, and I'm sure others did as well before going the subscription route, and that's trying it for free, then what happens is you get your 30 free monthly on a different date, along with your subscription uh, renewal the on the, the other date. So for me, it's a week deal. It's within a week. So come August 7th, I get the free. I get some free, you know, the free 30 ones, you know, the 30, you know, AI generation, uh, AI generation, excuse me, that's early. It's early. It's about 6, 10 a.m. I'm trying to do this while my mom's asleep and before she gets up. So I do apologize if I'm a little off. But like I said, for me, it's like within a week, you know, like August 7th, I get my free 30. AIs, you know, and then on August 15th, I get my additional 120, you know, based on my subscription. You know, so that's kind of how it works out, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that went down that route. Now, what you see on this screen here, what you see on this screen here is examples, you know, just primary examples of projects, you know, little projects. Uh, that I put together, I pieced together using my free, you know, my free uh, run, the free 30 AI generate run, and then also now with my subscription. And as you can see, the as you can see, you get some very um, unique results with what you put in there via text prompt, like typing in what you wanted to do, or you're using images and the images sometimes are to me one of the best ways to go because what you could do with these images especially the back-to-back -back images is see what happens when they come together and uh, put through what's known as like an animation now the reason I talk about this and the reason I'm kind of giving this Luma you know AI dream machine a chance is I got to give a shout out to Trouble TRO Trouble TRO on Patreon, otherwise known as POVRR2 or POVAR2 here on YouTube, uh, they're known for doing shape shifting stories, mostly web comics. And some of the most popular material they've done is stories like, which are currently, which are actually currently going on as we speak, um, are stories like Pink Benefits which is a story based on two friends, bisexual lesbian friends named Emily and Betty, who have shape-shifting powers. Um, he has stories like um, the new one he's doing called Cat Burglar, uh, where you have this girl that has shape-shifting abilities by taking a pill or something like that, or some kind of formula. She has another one, you know, she's done, and she's actually, work, um, and they have another one, I should say, that, you know, they've done and are actually working on as we speak called Science Experiment. And the reason I bring that up is because they're doing the sequel as we speak. They're actually getting ready to maybe announce the sequel. And then has two uh, scientists, basically middle-aged scientists, who discover the 
magical shape-shifting abilities of this meteorite that allows them to become basically um, gooey, latex, drone-like shapeshifters who can become anything or anyone they want. And apparently what's been hinted to me is the gooeyness that we got a hint of in the first one is going to be on display, probably more so in the second one than we can ever imagine. Uh, they've also collabed with people like Mr. Internet Man on DeviantArt, you know, for Agent Pink. And they're not the only ones, you know, they're not the only ones, but the reason I bring them up is because they recently uploaded onto the Patreon, I think, two, maybe three AI videos where they took basically back-to-back -back images from the webcomic um Pink Benefits, and the other one they work on called Anything You Want, which is another series they work on on occasions. And they did back-to-back, -back, you know, panels, put them into uh, the Luma AI, and ended up having them get animated. And let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you something. That, that blew me away when I saw that. Now, of course, now, of course, um, hold on for a second. Now, like I said, when um, he did that, and I do apologize, I thought it hurt something. Uh, but like I said, you know, when he did that originally, because like I said, he posted one or two AI, maybe three AI videos, mostly two, I think. You know, from his recent Pink Benefits upload on Patreon and one of his recent DeviantArt uploads of, uh, you know, his previous Anything You Want um, webcomic that he still works on on occasions, you know, onto DeviantArt. And like I said, it kind of blew us, it blew me mainly away, you know, because he had, and this is what I was trying to talk about uh, before I, you know, kind of paused there, um, he has dabbled. Um, or they have dabbled, I should say, in animation before. They've tried some, you know, animations to see, you know, little test runs that they would showcase to the Patreon uh, subscribers and supporters. You know, they would, you know, show them, you know, some animation of what the character would look like, you know, animated, and kind of give us, as they kind <laughs> of joked about a little bit with both these AI uploads, you know, AI animated uploads. They kind of joked about by saying, you know, hey, could we have a Pink Benefits movie or anything you want movie? That's kind of what they were giving us, sort of the idea of maybe that's the ultimate goal in the end. And this is prior. These animation tests that they would show the Patreon supporters, you know, they were prior to, you know, these AI ones, you know, coming into existence, you know, they were prior to that, and they're not the only one, Joven16, who I've talked about when it comes to those stories, uh, did the same thing, and this is, again, what inspired me to kind of give it a chance, and I took some images, of course, as you can see, and I tested them out, and lo and behold, you know, some of it actually looks really, really good. Some of it may not seem like it intersects very well, but it's, but that's all on you. Because what you need to do, in my honest opinion, is take the photo program on your computer or on your phone, and you need to edit each panel, maybe let's say on a web page or on a page of a web comic, or whatever you're planning to do, you need to basically edit them to be individualized. Because when you edit them to be individualized, what you get in the end, you know, when you piece them all together, is magic. It really is. It is magic. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. You see, I you know, again, this is new to me as well. So, of course, experimenting and trying things out. Yesterday... I decided, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do something different. And what I decided to do, what I decided to do was, as you probably saw with the uh, two um, short clips 
basically scenes from Joven 16's Nano Shift. These are, you know, from uh, pages, you know, that he uploaded a year or two ago before he took a hiatus on that story, which he recently brought back. Um, you know, he bas- uh, basically what I did is I took those two, I took several panels and I, you know, basically, you know, basically said God, God was telling me, okay, take these panels and place them back to back and then download them individually as videos. Now, sometimes you do have to use the same, uh, you have to use the same panel at times to kind of, you know, get, you know, get to the, you know, the, I guess you could say the, um, the feeling, if you will, the, the image that you want. And, you know, that's what I did. That's what I did. And the end result, believe it or not, looks tremendous. Looks tremendous. As you've probably seen already, it looks absolutely fabulous. And I think by doing that, I think now I have an idea of what people like Trouble TRO are saying when they kind of take ease and hint of, hey, we might do a you know, Pink Benefits movie or anything you want movie in the future. They might be going down that route. Now, is it easy? No, it's not easy because sometimes what Dream Machine will do is instead of, you know, going with what they have or what you give it, even maybe even when you maybe add in some prompts to kind of describe what you want, you know, it's not always going to be accurate. You know, one of the original panels um, at the end of that last nano shift uh, imagery I gave you was a character, main character, Jay, was trying to reform herself. And it looks like she reforms herself into a bust, like a, stat- a head bust on a, on a pedestal. I think, yeah, pedestal or something like that, a podium or whatever you want to call it. Just, you know, the the first time I did that, Dream Machine had <laughs> added a character coming off of it. And it's like, what, what was that about? <laughs> you, know? you know, that didn't make any sense. Um, so I tried it again, and the second time around, it got it. But here's what's interesting, too. Sometimes when you look at these web comics. You have to make sure that there's no text, or you got to edit the text out, because the text will get added in, or if it's word bubbled, it'll be moved around. Like it'll go from one, you know, text, you know, one word bubbling of, word, you know, text and everything to another, because of course different panels. But again, yeah, you know, it's not 100% accurate, and I've said this before with with all AIs, I really have. I mean, to do right, which is S U D O D R, which is to do right. I'm trying to, you know, find the right words to say here because, like I said, it's early. But to do right, which is S U D O W R I T E. You know, even they, which is a great service, by the way, even they have glitches and problems. And despite what the, one of the people that may have that works on it may have told me. Obviously, there's more to this glitching than you can imagine. Because sometimes what's to do right, after you finish a story and you want to try something else, it'll automatically go right to Untitled Project without you even clicking the new button in the upper left-hand corner. But if not that, instead of giving you what you want, it gives you something completely different. Like let's say you want a unique kind of risque like story featuring, let's say, Sally Acorn of Science the Hedgehog fame, having a uh, very intimate relationship with her mom, Alicia Acorn from Science the Hedgehog, Archie Sonic. You know, that, that, let's say you want to kind of have that kind of a story. You know, there, you, you will get that story, there's no doubt. But there will be a times that, during your little journey of getting the story the way you want or close to what you want, you'll end up getting something completely different. Like you'll get information about authors, you'll get somebody else's idea, you know, for a story with different characters in there, or you'll just get a bunch of like 
symbols and words going like blah, 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 you know? And it's like, like, like Sadhu Wright just threw up, if you will. And you're wondering, what is this? And again, the guy told me it's a glitch, but it's more than just a glitch. I think there are other, I think what Sudhu Wright does is it takes other people's projects that it's registering and mixes it up. And if that's the glitch, they need to really fix that glitch. You know, because, you know, an AI shouldn't get confused. You know, it's, you know, as terrifying as that may sound to some people. An AI, whether it's for, you know, business or, you know, business purposes or entertainment purposes, you know, like with Hollywood, it shouldn't get confused. You know, again, as terrifying as that may sound. But, you know, like I said, you know, like to do right, it's not always going to be perfect because it's not always going to give you what you want. Now, the one thing that does hold it back too, now I don't know if this is different when it comes to the different subscription tiers, but even with the $29.99 monthly one that I'm doing, which gives you 120 tiers and plus the 30 free ones, which is 150 in total, um, I don't know if it's, I don't know again if it's based on how much more you pay, but as of right now, with both the free and the um, 29, the 30, let's put it this way, $30 a month one. You only get two panels to work with it from an image, from an image perspective. You only get two panels. You don't get an additional panel. You don't get a panel to where you can put, you know, not just a JPEG or a PNG, but also a MP4, a video. You don't get any of that. You just get two panels and that's it. And basically, basically to some with creative aspirations, that can be a pain because it's like, that's going to take too long. And it might, it might take too long, depending on how many like webcomic pages or pages you want to try to bring to life, you know, uh, that, it all depends on that. But point is, but the point is basically it only has two of them and it needs to work on that. Now, again, I don't know if that changes with the higher you pay. If you get more than just two image panels, let's say if you do the $79 one, $80 one a month, or if you do the $500 one a month, I don't know. But yeah, it is, uh, but yeah, it is basically something that, you know, Luma AI Dream Machine or Luma has to work on. They need to add more panels. Now I know maybe adding more panels might make might put a strain on not just their self, not, not just the software on their end, but also let's say the laptop or computers, PCs that you can, that we're using, but still it's something they should look into. Um, now the other benefit about the subscription is basically you don't have to deal with the Luma watermark. You don't have to deal with that because of course it, with the free one, you can still download uh, your creations. You can, but the thing is, you have the Luma watermark, which is you know the which you know it says Luma on the on the top. Um, here, as far as I know, when you download, what happens is it's kind of like it's kind of like when you go to Facebook, you go to your Facebook page and you have a video on there. And you want to download it and then all of a sudden you get you know taken to another page and you just have the video right there then you download it or you go to one of those you know again it's you know at your own you know it's one of those um at your own risk kind of deal i shouldn't say i was about to say again but you know this is the first time i've talked about it again like i said it's early i do apologize um it's about 6 30 right now again trying to do this before my mom gets up uh, but anyway, anyway, um, basically you, um, what's the one I'm trying to, <laughs> it's almost lost my train of thought, lost my train of thought, uh, for a second. Hold on for a second. Sorry, almost lost my train of thought. Like I said, it's early. I'm trying to do this before my mom gets up. But anyway, uh, like I said, uh, instead of. You know, it's kind of like when you go to, you know, some of those, um, 
YouTube, Facebook down, uh, vi- uh, download uh, sites. That, again, go to them with, at your own risk. Um, hopefully, they're safe. Some that I've tried out have been okay here and there. Um, but it's like when you go to one of them, you know, and you put in the public link uh, for the for the Facebook video, or the YouTube video you want to download, and then it gives you your options, and then you go with the most obvious one you want to go with, and then it takes you to another tab, hopefully with not hopefully without taking you to a, a tab or a page that might, you know, be questionable. But it takes you, to, but when you click on, like I said, the choice you want, it'll take you to another page. And on that page, you'll have this video, or this, you'll have this uh, video player pop up. And then in the bottom right-hand corner, you know, you go to the three dots that are there and you click on them and then you choose download. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like what, you know, it's kind of what the subscription, you know, the downloading for the subscri- on the subscription tier allows you to do. Because on the non-subscription tier, the 30, you know, the 30 AIs a month, um, you don't get that. Instead, you, get to, you do get the chance to download, but you don't get, you know, that separate, you know, page that opens up with a video player. You know, that gives you, you know, that, you know, you, you, uh, that you go down to the bottom right-hand screen of, click on the three dots, and then click download. You know, instead, you just have download, and that's it. With the subscription part... You actually have the down the download option, but it says excuse me, it says download without watermark. And again, that watermark is the twirling Luma sign in the upper right hand corner. Sound a little? I know sound. Now I know that sound a little confusing. There, I do apologize. Like I said, it's early. Trying to do this before my mom gets up. Uh, but anyway, you know. That, that's the other, that's one of the other things too that with the free tier on Luma you can download but you have the watermark with the subscription tier you can download without the watermark and you get a separate page opening up with a video player that allows you to go to like I said the bottom right hand corner of the video player click on it and download so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool that's a pretty cool um, I guess you could say gift when it comes to subscription. I mean, it's nice that they let you download, you know, either way, you know, and everything. But to have the but to have the watermark, the Luma logo taken taken off, I think it's beneficial to a lot of folks because they want to say, hey, this is my creation. You know, it's not Luma, and you know that's what that's what a lot of these uh, services that you can try for free, you know, either like a you know like a Luma AI Dream Machine. Or for other things, you know that that's the benefit. Like when you go for subscription, or you buy the full thing, you buy the full retail version of what you're using. You don't have to worry about the, you know, the watermark being there, advertising the people behind it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um. Anyway. Anyway, you get that as well, which is beneficial. You get that as well, which is beneficial. The the thing is, though, the one thing that they do need to work on, too, especially when it comes to the subscription tiers, is they need to they need to up the time, you know, because each even with the free tier, even with the free tier, um, each video that you uh, generate, AI generate is only five seconds in length. That's it. And if you're going to be paying thirty dollars a month. $80 a month, 500 a month, if not more yearly. If you're going to do that, they should allow you to have more time added on to when you to uh, your AI generation or your AI generating. You know, instead of 5 seconds, they should at least you know add you know 10 seconds to it. So like for the month, so like let's say the $30 a month, add make it instead of 5 seconds, make it 10 you know, make it 15, if you will, or maybe make it 10, you know, up it by five, you know, so for the $30 a month, you know, 10 seconds for the, um, you know, for the $80 a month, add, let's say 15 and 20 seconds, you have 30, make it 30 seconds. And then for the 500 a month, give them a whole minute. 
that's the one thing I think they need to work on. And hopefully over time, since it's still new and, you know, working out its own books, hopefully over time, that's what they do. They give you, you know, they give you, you know, that opportunity. Because again, if people are going to be spending out of the wazoo, then they should give you the privilege to have longer, you know, videos instead of just five seconds, even with the subscription tiers. Now, one thing about the subscription tiers is, yes, you do get you do get high priority, or you do get the priority. The one thing that they describe about, you know, the subscription tiers is with the $30 a month one, the $29.99 one, is you get high priority. And with the other ones, the $79.99 one a month and the $499.99 one a month, you get the highest priority. And what that means is, you know, the, what that means is basically the difference is with free, you have to wait. And you have you may have to wait five minutes. You may have to wait, you know, five minutes, you know, at the at the earliest, which is a miracle. But at the longest and the most average, sometimes you have to wait a half hour, maybe an hour, maybe a couple of hours before your project gets um, selected to be gener uh, generated, you know, out of, you know, out of the queue because it gets put in a queue. You know, your, your thing um, basically gets chosen after you know, a long length of time. But the difference, again, with the subscription is you basically jump to the front of the line. You know, with high priority, which is the one I have, the $29.99 one, with that, you get basically, uh, you basically, you know, you uh, basically get, um, you know, <laughs> basically you get what they say. You know, you again, it's early. I do apologize. I'm trying to do this, like I said, before my mom gets up. That's why I'm uh, going all over the place here. It sounds like I'm rambling. But, you know, with the $29.99 one, you do get high priority. The difference is the wait time at the longest might be, f you know, as far as I've experienced being, a, you know, being subscribed right now, the longest is five minutes. That's it. You know, that's the longest you'd have to wait. So you kind of get the idea when they say the more you pay, the more priority your creations will take. Because they say with the other two that are higher than that in price, you get the highest priority. Almost like basically, you know, if you're paying the $79.99 one or the $499.99 one, your priority is just like that. You know, well, high priority, you kind of get that but not really sometimes you'll get a you'll get a slow you know you know click of the thumbs or a, a slow you know you know a slow snap if you will it's like a little like that instead of a like that you know it's a you know like that instead of a like that that's basically the difference it's like a it's like a, uh, it's a slow snap or a very low snap instead of a high snap. We'll put it that way. And, um, yeah, that's the other difference. The other difference as well, the other difference as well is because it allows you to sign in with your Google account, which I think Sadu right allows you to do the same thing. I'm not really sure. You know, you have a Google account, you can sign in, you're good. You don't have to worry about signing any, you know, you, you don't have to worry about signing, signing in or signing up any other way if you have a Google account. But, but here's what's interesting. The other difference, you know, be, you know, uh, between it and let's say a writing AI software like Sudo Write, which is again, S, which is, again is spelled S-U-D-O-W-R-I-T-E. The other difference is you is you got to be like if you're using imagery, certain imagery, you got to make sure that imagery is edited enough to where it won't to where it won't tell you 
hey, this imagery is inappropriate or, you know, this Im- or this imagery violates. And I do apologize for that vibration notification. I think that was a email. Yeah, it was an email. So I do apologize for that. Uh, but anyway, um, you got to make sure the image is decent enough, you know, to where it won't, it won't give you, um, it won't give you a notice of saying, hey, you know, it violates, it, uh, it won't give you a, a, a notice that says this prompt violates our policy or inappropriateness, you know, in the, uh, in a, you know, this inappropriate whatever in this, you know, you got to make sure it's cleaned up. You got to make sure it's cleaned up. And what I mean by that is not just the image itself, but the text bubbles. That's right. Because as I mentioned earlier, as I mentioned earlier, you have text bubbles in some of these web comics. And you got to make sure that the wording in these text bubbles is not there. Now, some wording is okay. Some wording is fine. You know, not a big deal. But it's certain words, certain risque, sexually oriented, erotic like words, or at least words that are uh, uh, basically apply to those or, or relate to those um, things that I just mentioned. It's those kind of words, words that, like I said, are sexually or are sexually related, sexually and erotically related, you know, to you know certain you know. Um, risque, like risque, like stories and stuff, you know, so, you know, that's the other thing you got to make, you got to make sure of, you got to make sure that if you're going to use a webcomic panel, that the wording is either blanked out, like you either use a, a software that you've installed on your computer or an online software, like clean up pictures, and you got to make sure that the, you know, that wording is gone. That wording is history. Or at least, or at least if you're someone like, let's say, uh, let's say, laboratory, laboratory. Yeah, it's kind of like laboratory, but it's a laboratory, you know, on Gumroad. You got to make sure, you got to make sure that, you know, you know, you have both a, again, I'm trying to find the right words to say, because like I said, it's early, it's about 6.42 right now in the morning, so I do apologize again, because like I said, I'm trying to do this before my mom gets up. Uh, but anyway, like a lava story, he has these web comics he does called, uh, em- you know, based on a character called Emily Sanders, like Agents of Emily, Emily Sanders and different volumes and stuff like that. She's a shapeshifter, if you will as well as some other shape-shifting related stories and characters. But anyway, Lava Story, uh, Lava Story um, has two versions of his um, Emily Sanders and some of his other uh, stories that he releases, you know, for sale. And one story has all the text, the other is non-text. And I think the reason he does the non-text is maybe he knows that people might use some of his imagery for things like AI, you know, for AI services, like let's say Luma, and then, you know, whatever image they might use that might be decent enough, you know, will be able to go through without an issue. Or so, or so hopefully people think. But yeah, outside of the image itself that you gotta kind of clean up and make sure it's okay, decent, passable, you also gotta do the same with the word bubbles, you know, or the text in there as well. Because that, that right there might be an issue. That right there might be an issue in itself. So that that right there is the other thing too. If you're planning to use Luma to be like, hey, I'm gonna, you know, take this erotic intimate scene between two girls being lesbian like with each other, you know, and I'm you know, and I'm gonna take this panel and this panel, I'm gonna piece them together. Can't do it. Can't do it because it's not appropriate can't do it i mean i looked at what next next day next day comics uh did with unconventional 2 in this one scene where um mr internet man's character demonica possesses both female characters in there 
um, this is one scene where basically she's using the bodies. Basically, she's also shapeshift the bodies into some into into different people, and she's basically making out. Uh, she's helping them through this make out with each other, kind of get intimate with each other uh, on a bed. And what happens is she starts to melt. They start. She, you know, uses her powers to cause them to both melt and merge together into an oozy black blob on the bed. Which, basically, after staying like that for like, I would say, you know, I would say story wise, maybe a few minutes, she starts to reconstitute them into one body, you know, into one fused body and everything. But here's here's what I'm talking about. I wanted to do that whole scene, right? Well, because of one girl being over the other in such a manner, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Now, I, and now again, it's going to take some editing, but eventually maybe I might be able to get around that and hopefully be able to, um, hopefully be able to basically say, okay, this might work and we'll go from there. But yeah, again, it's one of those situations where if you're thinking about doing something like that, uh, you know, you better second guess yourself. You better second guess yourself. But outside of that, everything else is good. Again, you just gotta tweak certain things like you know, word bubbles, certain like scenes and stuff. You gotta make sure you tweak them. Like there's one one scene you probably saw in one one of the videos I put up today, uh yesterday I should say creation wise, where it's a character I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with. Um, Lady Drasama, Drasami's character, Lady Drasami's character, um, the, you know, the orange cat with the purple hair. Well, what you saw, what you see in one of those, and had a confirmation video yesterday, is two panels that I kind of edited, you know, on my phone. And basically they're from a commission that I sent them a year ago, where the char her character basically soaks in a tub and melts. So... What I did is, like I said, I edited those two panels to where they kind of seamlessly, as best they could, blend it together. And what you saw in that video yesterday is exactly what I would, you know, is exactly the result. So, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But, again, again, though, the reason I bring, but again, the reason I bring that up is due to the fact that the original uh, commission, or at least the first picture of her, like, soaking there with a, like, bleh, like, you know, satisfied, silly look, like, bleh, I'm still feeling good kind of deal, uh, that originally had a certain upper region exposed. So using an online software like cleanuppictures.com, I was able to fix that, if you know what I mean. But... Again, outside of that, you know, you can pretty much do what you want, you know, with the software. Again, you have to be careful about what images you use. And if that image, if it's from a webcomic, doesn't have certain text and wording in it, that may not, you know, seem constitutional, if you know what I mean. Now, with the, now, however, <laughs> however, the, however, the prompts, the text prompts for this service, you know, or something else as well. Because, you know, apparently you got to be careful, like, with, you know, with what wording, you know, you use. Because even, even if you just want to type in a prompt, like a description of what you want to see, you got to be careful about what you do. Yeah. You see, a lot of you know I'm a fan of the Lustful Milk Egg, right? Well, I wanted to do an image, you know, of a character melting, of a woman melting into goo and loving it, right? Like she sees somebody she's attracted to, she melts, right? Well, I tried to say, you know, I tried to describe woman melting into goo and loving it. I was immediately told, fail to generate, or I was immediately told, old prompt violates or something like that. But mostly the one I would always get is fail to generate. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm either getting the policy one, the, the policy, you know, the prompt violates pro, uh, policy, or I'm getting the fail to generate. So I've come to realize that I have to change the words around 
And once I changed it from melting to shape shifting into goo, into a gooey puddle, you know, and then taking out things like and loving it, because one of the original prompts I said is woman melting in goo and loving it, you know, that didn't work. But when I said woman shape shifting into a gooey puddle, and you know, and then I removed the other part of it called, you know, that said and loving it, it worked. Or when I say something like a slime girl melting in a puddle and then bubbling and then, you know, melting in a puddle and then bubbling up, you know, that works. It does. And that's the other thing, too, about this. That's the other thing, too, about this, you know, and I'll get to that in a moment. But again, to, to finish off this point, even with the text, with regular text prompting, you got to be careful, you know, the wording there, you got to be careful with when it comes to this. Now, outside of that, again, the, the surface is pretty good. The What you get is pretty good. And the other thing, even with the free tier, even though with the free, you got to wait a lot longer. Uh, but the one thing you do get with this is you can extend your story. Just like to do right allows you to extend your story if, let's say, you're not choosing a certain tone or if you do choose a certain tone, you want to keep extending it, and you go to the writer's guide and you say, put this in there, and it kind of gives you what you want, but then maybe you have to correct it yourself, or you got to be more specific or whatever. You know, it still lets you extend your story a lot longer than what you originally um, got it for, than what the, you know, the do right originally gave you to, or gave you as, I should say. Uh, Dream Machine does the same thing. Luma AI Dream Machine does the same thing. Uh, what they do is they allow you to extend, you know, what you're working on. So let's say you're using an image, you know, what it does, let's say if you want to extend that, is it goes off the, what it does image-wise is it uses the last image that it generated for you or the last animation it generated for you, you know, as pretty much its base and then you say, and then you can describe, you know, again, you got to be careful with the wording. You got to be careful with the wording. You could say, um, do such and such more, or to give me more emphasis on such and such. And again, being careful with the wording, you can get a continuation of that almost to what you're describing. Almost to what you're describing. And that's pretty cool. And just like, you know, AI software like Sudo Write, you know, you do, you have to use the, uh, per, uh, what is it, the parentheses, is it called? The parentheses? You know, you have to use those to emphasize as much as you can what you really want to see. And if, again, if the wording is, you know, appropriate enough, you'll get what you want, you know, as, as best as it can give you. Again, like I said before, but to do right in other AI software out there, it's still new. It's still developing. They're still working out certain things. So you got to be patient with it. But outside of that, it's pretty fun. Outside of, you know, outside of that, it's pretty fun. You know, with the results you get, in, you get with the extension. Because what it does is it adds on to the five seconds. So the next video you get is 10 seconds. And then if you want to extend that, 20. And then, well, not 20, but 15. And then 20. You know, the more you extend, the longer the video goes. But again, this goes back to what I was talking about earlier. You know, the, I think that with the more people pay subscription-wise, the longer they should get the initial AI generation, uh, AI generated uh, project so they can add on to it. So instead of, let's say five seconds, like with a free one, you know, with uh, the twenty nine with the twenty nine dollar ninety nine cent a month one, you get ten seconds, and then you can just add on another ten. You get twenty seconds, you know, and so on. Or with the seventy nine dollar ninety nine cent one, you add in, you know, you give them thirty seconds, and then extend wise, if they want to continue adding on, give them another thirty seconds to get a minute. And then, of course, with the highest one, which is 500 a month, basically, you know, you give them a minute long, you know, a minute long video off their initial um, AI generation project. And then if they want to extend, give them another minute. And there you go. Um, but yeah, outside, outside of that, again, being something that I think they should 
improve on and work on, in my opinion, to really, you know, get people attracted to the, you know, to the product. Outside of that, being able to extend upon, again, based on the wording you use to make the extension happen, I think it's great. I think it's really great. Um, but yeah, outside of some of its, you know, quirks and everything here and there, some of its, you know, I guess you could say little, um, Nick nuances and annoyances, you know, some people might, you know, look at Luma AI Dream Machine is actually pretty good. Again, some of the things I've mentioned, it does, it would benefit in, you know, with an improve, you know, with improving on, you know, especially subscription wise. And I think also word wise, they need to be more lenient. You know, they need to be more lenient. They need to get people to that are working on this to do more research and realize that hey if somebody says uh if somebody texts in hey i want a woman melting into a puddle of goo ooh, and loving it they should allow you to do that because that's not saying oh i want you know the woman to die or anything like that or i want i want this or that to horrifically happen no you're saying no what you're saying is hey this woman is melting into goo and loving it because she finds enjoyment in it you know to, to me, they need to work on, you know, the Pacific wording or at least put a statement out, at least some kind of notice out that it says, hey, you know, these are the certain words you can't use and da 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 da, da or a certain way the descriptions you can't use and da da da. You know, so and there are some, like I said, some issues they need to work on, you know, to make this product better. Same with any AI service out there that has a subscription or doesn't, you know, like to do write and many others. Now, do I believe that if you're more into that adult nature and more of that triple X erotic nature and all that, do I think there is a uh, adult, you know, AI service similar to, you know, Luma Dream, Dream Machine? And I do apologize for that notification there. It's another email. I do apologize. Oh, no, it's a Facebook notification. I do apologize. But anyway, anyway, like I was saying, no. Do I think there is an adult oriented uh service like you know luma ai dream machine out there oh absolutely absolutely and all you have to do in my opinion is google it you do because that's how i found out about the fact that there are other you know other sites like to do right out there you know from an ai perspective and mobians.ai that allow you to have a little more fun a little bit more leniency you know and what you want you know they might still have a few restrictions a few pullbacks here and there but not as much so again do i think there's an adult version or an adult alternative of the erotic nature and description you know description story-wise and all that and image, image and video wise do i think there's one out there that's similar to luma ai dream machine you know that allows people to do more than what you know dream machine would allow you know allow absolutely absolutely I really do. I really do think there is one. In fact, again, if you Google it, I'm pretty sure you'll find one. But but my advice is you got to be careful about them because sometimes just because you might find one doesn't mean they're always safe, if you know what I mean. Doesn't mean they're always safe. But yeah, I think there is. But outside of that possibility, I will say that what you get right now with the Luma AI Dream Machine, I think is great. I really do. It's just that, again, you have to be, you have to basically pace yourself. Even if you go the free tier rise, you got to pace yourself. That's what you got to do. Like, let's say you create a free tier today, you know, on there, and you get those 30 free tiers. My recommendation, just do one a day because you're going to probably be waiting for a long time anyway. So my suggestion is just do one a day until your renewal, you know, happens. And if you haven't finished them all up, Guess what? Uh, I'm assuming you might have it added on to. Again, I'm not saying you do will, but I'm assuming. But, out, and, and again, but outside of that, I would pace myself. Same with the subscriptions. Whether you have the 120 plus 30, which is 150, or you have the 1,000, 1,500, you know, plus 30, you know, for the 70, $79 one. Or the four hundred ninety nine dollar one, which is two thousand plus and thirty, you know, I would pace myself. I would pace myself and take my time, because the more you start doing it, 
the faster you're going to run out and the long, and basically that's going to make waiting into the renewal next, the next month, even, uh, it's, it's going to make that even longer as a, longer as a wait, if you get, catch my drift. So I would pace myself and that's what I'm learning right now. Just pace myself and work on what I want to see come to life, you know? And also if you're a fan of comics, like Archie Sonic or DC or whatever, and there's certain images you feel could, you know, be, you know, you know, could, could be, you know, utilized in a brought to life like fashion. Dream Machine does that. You just got to make sure it works out, you know, the way you're hoping it to, you know, or hoping it will. But anyway, just wanted to come on here again, trying to do this before my mom gets up. Um, and, and talk about this, give you my thoughts on my first day subscription wise with this. Um, and let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below, live chat during the premiere if you didn't already. Again, comment down below. Let me know what your experiences are if you've tried out Dream Machine. Also comment, uh, if you're listening to this on the Spotify podcast, comment there as well. Also click on the link to my Teespring store. It, uh, link will be in the description. Also, guys, I will let you know that I am on Redbubble. Yes, I am on Redbubble. I'm not going to put a link just yet because I'm not, because for some reason my store isn't like showing all my products just yet. So I'm not going to put that there yet. But I am on, I, I'm on Redbubble. I am. I'm on Redbubble. It's BW Roses Fandom. That's one word, BW Roses Fandom. Um, but I'm on Redbubble. I got like two, I got like four things up right now. And uh, you check them out if you can find them again. You know, you know, again, you know, check them out if you can find them. I'm not going to say what they are because I want to make, I want to wait until I'm fully immersed. Like basically everything's on the up and up because they, they still have to do some reviewing and everything. But yes, I'm on Redbubble.com. So again, check that out. Again, I do apologize for the notification, uh, YouTube notification there. I do apologize for that. Um. Anyway. Anyway. Um. Like I was saying. Uh. Like I was saying. No. Check out my Teespring store. Link is in the description. Also, links to the other places where you can find my content are also in the description. So check those out. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. But again, let me guys, let me know what your thoughts are. And until then, I am out. Again, I do apologize if I was all over the place. Again, like I said, I was trying to do this before my mom gets up. But let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you've uh, tried out. Let me know if you've tried out. Um, you know, Dream Machine. And what your experience was. Let me know. And until then, I will talk to you all later.